I'm Sarah Waysglass, and you're watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? Gabby Conti here with Sarah Waysglass from Ginny and Georgia. Welcome, Sarah. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Very quickly, I want to play a quick game with you. Love it. I'm down. If I could spend a day with any actor, dead or alive, I would spend the day with. Will Ferrell. Would he seems like the kind of guy you'd want to get stuck in an elevator with for like eight hours. So I would definitely hang out with Will Ferrell. Um, my guilty pleasure meal is? My guilty pleasure meal is waffles with Nutella and strawberry. Um, I fangirl for? I fangirl for the original TikTok singers who like come up with their own stuff and it's like brilliant and needs to be shared with everyone because they're freaking talented. So I'm hearing that this new show, they're comparing it a lot to Gilmore Girls. I saw you retweet someone who said, it's like Gilmore Girls if Rory was more likable. So <laughs> is your character Max like a more likable Paris or how would you describe oh, your character? Oh my God, I never really made that connection. I think Paris and Max are completely different characters. I feel like the only reason that people are comparing Gilmore Girls to Ginny and Georgia is because they're both about a teen mom and a daughter. Um, but as far as tone goes, I mean, they're, they're two entirely different shows and I'm really excited for people to like finally see it and understand what we've all been talking about so much. So yeah, I'm super stoked. I think people will realize the difference after like the first five minutes. <laughs> um, and your character says something very funny in the trailer. She blames toxic masculinity, but then you um, don't know what that means. I'm assuming you, Sarah, knows what toxic masculinity is. Yes, I do. I think it's more like I blame toxic masculinity and Abby's like, why? And I'm like, I don't really know but it's just I'm always gonna blame toxic masculinity because that's a major problem. I love the writers for throwing that in. That was hilarious. <laughs> when was the last time that you did something where you kind of channeled Max as Sarah? Oh, that's a great question. I feel like I'm channeling her on a daily basis. Like when I talk to new people over Zoom, because obviously in the world right now, it's hard to do. Um, but yeah, any anytime I'm really, like anytime I'm scared and I feel like I'm, I'm scared a lot. So it's a lot. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I found this old interview of you where you said your celebrity crush was Zac Efron. Is it still Zac Efron with his mullet and all? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your new celebrity crush? Oh God, I have so many. Um, Tom Holland's up there. He's freaking adorable. And I also think he's majorly talented. Um, and are you on, I see you're on Instagram. I see you're on, on uh, Twitter. Are you on TikTok at all? Yes, but privately, and I'm not going public. Not going <laughs> I public. won't let anyone see me dance. No, thank you. Um, but yeah, TikTok is freaking addicting. It's been like my favorite thing to do all through 2020. Like people are so <laughs> smart and so talented and it just, Oh God, my, my heart bursts every time I'm on TikTok. I actually reached out to a girl uh, because she wrote a song and it was like, literally this song could have been on the radio. Like I was like, this is my new favorite song. And she was like, yeah, I haven't released it. And I was like, well, you need to. Sarah, thank you so much for talking with me. This was so fun. Uh, tell our audience where they can watch your show again. Uh, we are going to be on Netflix after February 24th. Thank you so much. I can't wait thank to watch you. the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, guys. This is okay. amazing.